Good evening. Portland protests are calmer after federal agents agree to leave. No, sorry. This is really cheesy. It's not the news. This is just actually a Zoom presentation. Um, this is a new feature Zoom has. It's not life-changing, but I thought it would be nice to show off uh, how it works. So it's not a green screen that I'm using. It's actually just a PowerPoint slide that's going in the background. So it could be any color going on in the background, or you could put up uh, something about class. You could put up pictures. That might be nice. If it's an easy way to switch through a bunch of backgrounds quickly. Um, and if you are doing a, a class, like a discussion, oops, sorry, discussion questions um, or instructions for something, this could be a nice way to, to kind of stay part of the, um, stay present, I guess. This way, instead of sharing a screen uh, and having your picture be just this tiny little thing of, off to the side, you could be at least present. Um, if I click on my face, this blue thing comes up so I can move to one side or another. If I did need to be small, and I got that option. Oh, this is a little finicky. Uh, here, these are the PowerPoint controls. We'll show you how to do this in one moment. So uh, with the PowerPoint slides, it has to be PowerPoint. It doesn't do any animations or anything too slick, no video, no media. Uh, other than pictures and text. Um, I haven't tried a GIF yet, but um, let me show you a little bit about how you can try this out, how you might be able to try it out. No promises. So you have to install Zoom on your computer. It's supposed to work with Apple or PC. I'm doing this on a Windows 10. Um, you need to update Zoom to 5.2 or higher. I'll show you how to do that presently. So this is what Zoom looks like on my computer. I find my profile. It's a little, it's my picture in this case, and you find check for updates. When I do this, I'm up to date, but when I checked earlier today, it had to download something. It took a few minutes, I think maybe like five or 10 minutes. And I think Zoom even restarted. So when I restarted, then I, started a meeting and that's what I'm doing right now. When I click on share screen, I get this new option. So actually it usually comes up like this. I can click on advanced. That's this menu at the top. And now I have this beta PowerPoint as virtual background and I can choose the presentation and then we start over again. Um, I can use these controls to click through and it should be what everybody else sees. Um, I think we got it here. So I don't think this is going to change everything. What would change everything would be Zoom starting to uh, act like it's being used for education and like letting teachers share things with breakout rooms or share discussion files or have people be able to, you know, I don't know write on a virtual piece of paper and move it around, but this could be fun. It's not going to change everything about teaching in Zoom, and I think for myself, uh, the more I use PowerPoint, the more I realize I'm talking and um, not giving students an actual chance to interact. So for me, I'm going to try not to be tempted by this uh, because it's not going to change everything about the Zoom experience. We know that instead, uh, only these new filters are. <laughs> They're really stupid. <laughs> Fun. And let me know. I'll, I can do another video about how you can get one of these. And it's it's not a religious thing either. All right. Have a good night.